You guys asked for it, so here we are, another 5 Minute Friday, and today we're talking about quick stops. Let's go. Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Matt, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do quick stops. Let's get 5 minutes on the clock starting now. Alright, the quick stop can be broken down into three basic steps. Number one, make sure you're getting enough speed. Number two, shift your weight back to slow down and drag that tail. And number three, come to a stop and pull off your front foot. That's it. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's start with number one. Now to do the quick stop, you have to have a decent amount of speed. You don't have to be going super fast. Just get going at a rate that you feel comfortable with. But do know that the slower you're going, the faster and harder you're gonna have to push down your tail to get it to drag. In my opinion, I find it much harder to quick stop at slow speeds. Quick tip, now I've seen some people out there trying to learn quick stops by holding on to something. Now I don't see any way how this is gonna work, so I suggest that you guys don't try that. Just skip that part. All right. Once you have enough speed, stay in a straight line and start shifting your weight back to slow down. You're gonna have to do this pretty aggressively or else you'll just end up slowing down and eventually going backwards inst instead of actually dragging your tail. Now I find that this is the part that most people have trouble with. They don't slow down aggressively enough so they're, they have a hard time getting their tail to actually scrape the ground. Now remember, the key to the quick stop is commitment. You have to commit to shifting your weight back aggressively enough to get that tail to drag on the ground. Now I know this can feel counterintuitive at first, especially because thus far in your one wheeling career, you've probably been concentrating all your energy on keeping your weight over the wheel, not leaning back. So to get used to the sensation of slowing down hard enough to drag your tail, I suggest go in a straight line and slow down. Now do this over and over, but each time you slow down, make sure that you're slowing down harder than the previous attempt. Eventually you'll get to the point where you're dragging your tail consistently. Once you're able to drag your tail consistently, the last step is coming to a stop and pulling off your front foot. Now the timing of when to lift your front foot off is something that you're going to have to feel out for yourself. What I like to do is I lift my front foot right before I stop or just as I'm coming to a stop. Now remember, you should be able to remove that front foot pretty easily because at that point your weight is going to be shifted all the way to your back foot. So it shouldn't be a struggle. Now what you're essentially doing is you're slowing down harder and faster than the motor can keep up with. It's similar to a nosedive, but unlike a nosedive, the motor won't just cut out all of a sudden. You'll have a constant tension as you're slowing down, which is nice because unlike a skateboard, if you lean back too much, it's not just going to loop out on you and you're going to fly off the back of the board. The constant tension is going to keep you up and it's going to feel really nice and stable. Alright, so now that you know the mechanics of the quick stop, let's talk about some of the pros and cons. So why would you want to do a quick stop? Number one, because it looks badass. Number two, it's a really quick way of stopping. And number three, and probably the most important in my opinion, is that it's super consistent. Now, I don't know about you guys, but with the heel lift method, it can be really finicky depending on the type of shoes I'm wearing that day or the type of terrain that I'm riding on. Where the quick stop, on the other hand, once you get that quick stop down, it's really easy to nail that thing 100% of the time, every time. And that's a really huge plus in my book. Now, why would you not want a quick stop? Number one is because it puts a lot of wear on your board. In particular, your bumpers or your float plates if you have float plates installed. It can get really expensive really fast to keep having to replace bumpers and float plates and it can be a real pain in the ass to remove the screws if you've ground down the screw heads, which I've seen happen a lot. Now this is the main reason why I don't quick stop as much as I'd like to. I would love to see someone like the Float Life or someone release like a skid plate, something that maybe uses VHB or some really strong adhesive that will go over the float plate and cover the screw heads. That would be awesome. I would buy that in a heartbeat. Now the second reason you might not want a quick stop is that it just might not be suitable for the situation that you're riding in. Now imagine you're riding on a busy sidewalk and you have to go really slow because there's lots of people and you're weaving in and out. Now we've already talked about you need a decent amount of speed to do a quick stop and you need a decent amount of runway too. 
And so those two things means that this is probably not the right situation for the quick stop. In that situation, I'd recommend that you stick with your, the heel lift method, or if you're on a pint, you can do simple stop or just the good old fashioned jump off of two feet. All right guys, that's all I have for you today. This video came highly requested, so I hope that you liked it and I hope that it was super helpful for you guys. Um, I love hearing from you in the comments with new ideas for videos and suggestions for new videos, so please keep those coming. Uh, sorry I've been away for so long, you know, the holidays and stuff, work's been crazy, but um, I'll do my best to get new videos out shortly. If you guys liked today's video, please consider liking and subscribing, that helped me out a lot. My name is Matt, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. I got a new neon sign up there, you guys see that? I made that.